Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's new to my wardrobe. I have been doing some major shopping lately. I feel like now that the spring pieces are finally hitting retailers, I am just coming back to life after dull January. I don't know if anyone else is feeling like that right now. It's also been surprisingly warm here in Atlanta recently, so I also feel like just a little more sunshine has been doing my soul good, honestly. I'm feeling a little toasty because I think my coffee hit and I have just been running around getting things done. So I just reorganized my office closet in here. Thought I would show you all a little behind the scenes of how I sort of organize things in my closet for work. I also think I'm partially out of breath and sweating because as I was getting ready and doing my makeup, I had Usher playing. The big game is tomorrow, so I think this video is going to be... A couple days after that but I forgot how many good songs he has I am just so excited for the show tomorrow and to see what he's gonna perform I'm sure he has some new stuff coming too but you know he's gonna hit those classics and it's just gonna be a good time so let me know what you think of the show since I'm talking to y'all in the future but let's take a look at my office space so y'all typically see this back area here. I don't know if I ever shared once I added this paneling in here. If you're curious, the paint color is, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. I'll have to put it down below because I can't think of it right now. But over here, I just have my clothing rack. I have had this clothing rack. It's from Ikea since 2016 and those boxes down there. I've had the same setup since 2016. It is just so true to my branding and aesthetic and just brings me makes me happy. So I just have some of my favorite pieces hanging up here. And then over here I have another little desk base in case I can't work at my office downstairs. I know I'm Josie at the time. I have just a little desk space up here and then some random stuff. I'm actually doing a giveaway right now. A couple giveaways on Instagram. Let me show y'all real quick. So I just started this group on Instagram. I called it Chic Peak. And I've been doing giveaways in there. Let's see, so I think I can click it. Yes. So currently I have a Kendra Scott earring giveaway going on. But I plan to do a couple giveaways in here. I think the next one is going to be these items from Grande Lash, they just sent these to me, but I already have the products. And so instead of just hoarding them for myself, I figured one of you can try it out. I've been using their lash serum and I do really like this lash comb too. I use that before I put mascara on. Sometimes when I sleep, my lashes get a little crazy. I'm a side sleeper. Or if like mascara is clumpy, I use that to comb them out. I haven't, I have used the brow serum. I currently keep forgetting to use it. I have not tried this mascara, but I do have it to try. So that will be the next giveaway over in that group. If you want to enter, I'm just covering some analytics, but that's my Instagram. If you want to go follow me over there and join that group for the surprise giveaways. Ever since mid January, I have been in this wild organization phase and have been so much better about organizing and planning ahead and sticking with a content ca calendar. It's made such a difference to me and like getting things done and it, we've just been in a good little program over here. So I've been really enjoying <laughs> my organization. Let me know if you want me to share how I've been doing that. If you're curious in an upcoming vlog, like just my planning process and things like that. I don't know if y'all would be interested in that. Okay, back to the closet over here. This is the big mirror that I film all of my try-on hauls in. This is the seven foot. I also have some of the smaller sizes in other rooms of the house, but this mirror is absolutely massive. Then down here normally accumulates so much stuff. I try to kind of sweep it clean, which is what I just recently did. But when I'm filming, all of the stuff kind of piles up here. Right now I just have a couple of shoes that I want to share. I'm going to be filming a Nordstrom haul today. That should already be up once this video goes live. Okay, this closet is a very tight squeeze, so hopefully I can show y'all what I'm talking about. I might flip the camera around just to make it easier to like show you everything. But in this closet, this is all of the stuff that 
is kind of like new in pieces, things that I need to share. I'm also trying to get a good system with this as well, but I sort of just group it together by retailer. Typically everything in here has been steamed once it makes it into here. I do have my big steamer back here, but as you can see, I sort of have it grouped here just to keep me organized. So this is like one new piece I got in from Nordstrom, Amazon. This is an upcoming workwear haul that I'm kind of pulling for from my closet. This is some Target stuff. I need to film a Target resort reel with some of these pieces that came in after my haul. This is some stuff from Petal and Pup that I'll actually be sharing in this video. And I also have some wedding guest dresses to share. This is a red dress kind of resort reel that I wanna share. And then here are all of the Nordstrom pieces that I'll be sharing today back here this little organizer honestly just gets hidden but I just have typically my mirror cleaner in here I have like a smaller steamer just random things there's my big steamer extra hangers up here I have just some office supplies those are all of my previous planners and then I also have some old Nordstrom sale bags because sometimes when I shop on the first day, they don't have the anniversary bags out yet, and I like to take photos <laughs> with the Nordstrom bags for the content. And then up here is just, again, more grouping. So I have some more workwear pieces here that are just not hung up. Some bathing suits that I don't have to hang. Um, I ordered a couple things from Lululemon I'll be sharing soon. And then some accessories that I want to put in the video just so I can keep up with everything. Then down here, I typically put the shoes. All right, so let's get started with the what's new to my wardrobe. This is gonna be just a random mix of retailers, probably Petal and Pop, Nordstrom, some Target, maybe some Walmart, Revolve, and who knows what else. I've just, oh, I, I do have some new pieces coming in from J. Crew, but they aren't here yet, but I can just link those down below if you are curious, but I'll have all of the outfit and sizing links for y'all in the description box below. So I just tried this dress on and I'm actually shocked that it works. Honestly, this is from Revolve and their sizing can be very hit or miss for me. Sometimes the medium's too big, but sometimes the small's too tight. I got a medium in this dress and it fits perfect. I could almost get the back taken in a tiny bit, but it's honestly not even worth dealing with because it is very comfortable and it fits so well. I'm definitely saving this for something. I don't necessarily have anything yet on my calendar for, but I love it. I love the color. I'm hoping Tim makes club this year and we get to go on another trip. Last year we went to Hawaii, so I think this would be perfect for that. If he does make it, I'm manifesting it right now. <laughs> so y'all keep your fingers crossed for us. I think it's in Portugal this year. Um, but I love the off the shoulder. I love this color and I love the flowiness in the skirt for it. I had zero expectations with this top. I honestly was not expecting it to work out, especially as I started to like get the zipper going. I didn't think it was going to zip up, but it is so cute now that it's on. I was worried about this situation, but honestly with my short waist, it's not showing as much skin as I was worried about. And I just think this is such a cute like date night top, definitely a statement top. I always love my Swiss dots. I'm wearing a small. So in the back, there is a slight stretch to it and it zips up fully. So I actually unzipped it and started the zipper in the front and then turned it around and finished up the zipper. I'm not wearing a bra with this one. It's honestly not needed. And then I paired it with my favorite jeans. These are mother. They're the same jeans actually as my white jeans that I always recommend to y'all. I'm wearing a 28 and then I paired it with my Dior slingback heels. There is a look for less to these. I don't think they have a neutral color, but they do have like some bow slingback options if you like the look. It's blurry. There. Oh, I'm like trying to make it focus with my nose. Okay. So yeah, I'll link these and the look for less. Next up is the sweater. I actually already have the sweater in the tan color and I reached for it so much during the transition times and they restocked it and brought back a cream. So I knew I was gonna wear this one just as much. So I also picked this one up. I wear a medium in these. I think they're such a great transitional sweater and I love the cropped shape to it. 
I wore it a lot just casually with jeans, like going out to dinner around town. And then these jeans are actually another repurchase. I have these in the size up, but I repurchased them in the 27. My 28s were just looking too frumpy, like all the way around. So I'm glad that these fit. They definitely have a sn more snug fit. So I'm going to have to kind of stretch them out and see how sitting in them goes, but they definitely look more flattering. I love the wash of these. I love the slim straight fit towards the ankle. Great length. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference. They hit right above the ankle bone. So I feel like they'll work with a lot of different shoe options. This sweater is one of the pieces I am most excited to find recently. I cannot wait to wear it. It comes in four color options. I got the blush. I'm tempted honestly to buy the cream, but I have so many cream sweaters that I know I don't need it, but it is just darling. It has a little subtle scallop here. The buttons are functional, so it is nursing friendly. And I love that little bow detail. I am wearing a size medium and then I paired it with my favorite white jeans. Y'all, these are one of the best purchases in my wardrobe. Cost per wear wise, they are more of a splurge, but I have worn these to death the past two years and I know I'm going to continue wearing them this year as well. I have a few really cute spring finds from Petal and Pup to share, starting off with this gingham and rickrack combo maxi dress. Definitely petite friendly. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference and it's hitting about two inches above my ankle. So I feel like this will work for a lot of different heights. You could wear it with heels if you're on the shorter side. It's lined. I'm wearing a small and it was a pretty snug fit in the chest area. So if you're in between, I would recommend sizing up if you need some more room in the rib cage. But it is so flattering. Fits like a glove. It just zips up in the back. And I love that little rickrack design. Paired it with this adorable bag that I just cannot get enough of. I just got this one in too. And then these are my favorite sandals back again from last year. I wore these a ton last year. They were, they could have probably been in every monthly favorites video from last year. They're really comfortable and true to size. Oh my gosh, I love a good white dress in the summer and spring. They're easily my most reached for items. This one has the cutest little bow detail in the back. So I tied it and really fluffed it up. You can make it as big or as small as you want it to be in the material it does a great job at holding its shape. Um, also really flattering cut in the top. I love the angle here. It's really flattering under the arms. The straps are adjustable. This one would be bump friendly. It's lined. So cute. If you're like a bride to be, that's why I paired it with these pearl sandals, which are also great for a bride to be. And then this little rhinestone bag. Both of these accessories I styled and reviewed in my Target try on haul. So if you missed that earlier in the week, I'll link it for you down below. But I just adore this dress. Definitely going to be one that I reach for often this upcoming season. All right, next is this Rick Rack two piece set. I'm wearing a small in the top and bottom. I love a good set for summer, especially because you can mix and match it on vacation to really maximize your wardrobe. This would also be a cute swim cover up. This wavy detail is sort of like a white beigey tan color. Um, really comfortable shorts. They're just a stretchy pull on design. I do have a really short torso. So just a heads up there if you are long. I, although I did see a friend wear this who was 5'10". So I think it would work if you are taller as well. Paired it with my all time favorite sun hat. And then I also paired it with these wavy target sandals just because I thought it was cute to take that wavy pattern throughout the look. These are really comfortable, have been a bestseller, and I would say they're true to size if you're in between typically. I it wouldn't hurt to size up a half size. Next up is this pink eyelet button down top. I am wearing a size medium. Definitely glad I went with a medium. The smocking at the arm is pretty fitted just FYI there. But what is nice about that is they won't slide up the arm. I don't love like the skinny smocked bands sometimes because they will roll up the arm and get puffier. These actually kind of stay in place, but they are more fitted. Um, functional buttons. It is on the sheer side 
I feel like it's fine for summer and obviously not in like a work environment. I'm just wearing a neutral strapless bra underneath. But if you were wearing this to work, you 100% need something layered underneath it. Um, paired it with my favorite white jeans. These I just wear on repeat. And then these sandals, they're like a platform raffia sandal. And then again, this handbag because I just can't get enough. The top has a really nice kind of flowy fit to it. I love to balance that out with more fitted jeans on the bottom. All right, next up from J. Crew, I got this baby blue tweed jacket. I always love their spring layers. Honestly, I love their layers all season long, but I loved the blue color with the gold buttons. It has somewhat of a dramatic color detail. It'd be a really cute spring workwear piece. I love it kind of dressed down with some white jeans and sandals. I have it buttoned all the way up here to wear it as a top and then just a white basic tank underneath. You could just button one if you want, the bottom two, you can leave it completely open. I'm wearing a size small. It does fit a little, like the sleeves are a little looser and kind of more of a relaxed fit. I sort of like to bunch up the sleeves around the elbow to shorten them just a little bit because they are a little roomier through the arm. Um, but the material is like a textured, thicker, stretchy knit. It's the same material I feel like as my white one from last year, but definitely on the thicker side, especially with the braid detail down there. It looks like a tweed, but it's not. All right, we have to talk about this Amazon look for less. This is such a good find. I feel like the shipping time might take a little bit. Like I feel like it didn't come super fast. So just a heads up there if you're wanting it for Easter or anything like that. But I loved it so much, I actually ordered it in another color, so I'll share that next. But this dress is so chic. I'm wearing a small. It just zips up the back. Um, I feel like the hemline could be slightly improved if I'm being super, super picky. It just looks... I don't know if it's even picking up on camera. But I can see a little bit of, like, the stitching detail on the hemline. I actually want to shorten mine just a tad. I do like a little bit of a shorter hemline personally, so I feel like that will take care of that, but it's just really nice. It, comparing it to the more expensive version, this one is a little bit of a lighter material, which is nice. I feel like the the more expensive version I will link down below. It is, I think, around 278 and it is a pretty heavy material. Honestly, probably too heavy to wear once it warms up or especially during the summertime. So this one is definitely lighter and could get, I think, a little bit more wear. And then these heels are also another recent look for less fine. These are so cute. They have a little pearl detail across the front and they're actually extremely comfortable. I'm very impressed with the padding on the bottom. I do need to switch mine out for a smaller size. These are definitely too big. I caught a nine, could definitely use an eight and a half. They're very comfortable. I honestly might wear these for an upcoming wedding just because I feel like I'll be able to wear them for a while. And they have a very flattering shape in the toe. All right, here is the other color. I bought it in. It's this really gorgeous light icy blue. Again, same size, same heels with it. This would be perfect for Easter. I also repurchased my favorite little cashmere socks. I wear these around the house all the time and the ones I bought last year nearly have holes in them. So I got these two colors, they were on sale. All right, I did get a couple of new things recently from Spanx as well. They just came out with an Air Essentials dress, so I had to grab it. I think they also did it in black, but I went for, I think they're calling this mulberry color, which is like a deep purple. I'm wearing a size small. It is just really comfy. It would be a great like casual dress, travel dress during the summer. Um, it has slits on both sides there. Air Essentials typically runs a little roomier, so if you're in between, I would recommend sizing down. And my Spanx code is AmandaJohnXSpanx for 10% off your order. They also released a new color of the Booty Boost, so you know I had to grab them. These are the best leggings, I swear. They're worth every single penny, y'all. I have been raving about these <laughs> since 2020. I think that's when they came out, maybe. I think it was 2020. Maybe it was like the end of 2019. But I pretty much have every color. I wear them all the time. 
There's so many reasons that I'm obsessed with these. For one, they don't attract any pet hair or hair. They slim my legs like they give me a thigh gap. That is the leggings, y'all, because they are compressive. They slim my waist. They lift my booty. I never have to worry about camel toe, which is another main reason why I feel really confident wearing shorter tops with them. Not only because of that situation, but they also just smooth me out like no other leggings. Um, I do wear a medium and you can also use my code on these. I, this is like a brand new color. I'm not sure what they're calling it. And then this is a new color in the air essentials that matches perfectly. Did I need a new belt bag? No, I definitely did not. But could I resist these new spring colors? Also could not. <laughs> so, and I also couldn't even pick between the two because I loved both of them. So I got this gorgeous baby pink color and then this really pretty light blue color for spring. I use these so much. They're a great, honestly, mom bag, but also just everyday bag. You, you're going to use it way more than you think you will. And it fits a surprising amount in here. I mean, I can fit diapers and wipes in here. Like you will be surprised. It's also really great for travel. Like if you're going through TSA and you want to have quick, easy access to your phone and card case, you could wear crossbody. I also think they're a really, really great gift idea too. And I love these new colors. I almost forgot to include this super cute matching pink set. I honestly am surprised it's still in stock. I just checked and it is. Normally their stock is like already gone before I even get things in. And I have already worn this a couple times, so I really wasn't expecting it to be in stock. But happy to share it now. So it's just this really light baby baby pink matching set. I'm wearing a small in both the top and the skirt. Um, the skirt is on the shorter side. I personally like the length, but I know some of y'all prefer a little bit of a longer hemline. So if you do want some more length, I would recommend a size up. Um, paired it with a little Dior bag and then these blush booties. The sweater is like a textured sort of boucle type of fabric. So there is a little bit of texture to it. I wouldn't say it's itchy. And it's just the prettiest soft pink color. All right, y'all, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this what's new to my wardrobe. I think my next video is going to be a wedding guest dress video. And then I'll also have a workwear video coming up really soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank y'all for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.